audio file? From hell. Mr. Lusk. Oh. So, I sent you half the kidney I took from one woman and preserved it for you. The other piece I fried and ate it was very nice. Oh, okay. I may send you the bloody knife that took it out if you only wait a while longer. Signed, catch me when you can, Mr. Lusk. That's creepy. They actually got the voice actor. What was the... Alex? Alex something? Damn it. I don't remember your name. I'm sorry. But your very creepy voice of Jack the Ripper was amazing. Um, they actually got him to read the Jack the Ripper letters. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, and the other one I did was Saucy Jack or Saucy Jackie. Um, there's an audio file for this one too, but okay. The Saucy Jack postcard... Uh, this letter was received on October 1st, 1888 at the Central News Agency. That's coming up, actually. A couple weeks. Uh, the handwriting is similar to that of the Dear Boss letter and makes direct reference to both this letter and the murders of the previous night. Those who believe it to be genuine argue that the removal of Eddow's, Catherine Eddow's ear, it was not taken away nor mailed to the police, and the fact that the postcard mentions the double event before it was described by the press both testify to its authenticity. Others believe a hoaxer could have gleaned the details of both the previous letter and the murders in an early morning paper of October 1st. Hmm. And then the transcription. Here we go. I was not codding, dear old boss, when I gave you the tip. You'll hear about Saucy Jackie's work tomorrow. Double of it this time. Number one squealed a bit. Couldn't finish straight off. <laughs> not the time to get ears for police. Thanks for keeping last letter back till I got to work again. Jack the Ripper. Oh man, that's so dark. Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to episode number 24 of Syndicate Shenanigans. We're working our way through all of these Burrow Quest thingy-majiggers in the Jack the Ripper DLC still. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock out a couple more of them right now, but let's see. We did a brothel attack, a cargo hijack, Poet, I didn't even know it. And a lost women thing, I believe. And I think another Jack the Ripper letter. We were busy last episode. And... I haven't done a slow carriage escape on camera yet. So... This one's closest. And I don't know why the game is, like, not letting me use my fast travel points. I should have at least two. Robert Donston Steve Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson? What? So, basically... I've done one slow carriage escape uh, off camera, and basically they're suspects of who Jack the Ripper could be, and they're in deep shit in terms of the public starting riots, trying to take care of the situation themselves, if you know what I mean. Whoops, pardon me, sir. And, uh, yeah, we need to get him in a carriage, if he's not already in there and very slowly and discreetly deliver him to Scotland Yard where Abilene can interrogate him and exonerate them. So, yeah, that's the basis of them. So there's, like, the carriage escapes with the cargo hijacks and stuff where you gotta race through the streets, get the uh, rooks, blighters, whatever they are, off of you. But this one's different. You don't want to go fast. You go too fast, you lose. So you want to avoid attention and just go slow. So they're actually... They're very stressful. So get let's go ahead and knock this one out once I get over there. I'm still 150 meters away. Uh, Carriage of Justice, here it is. Robert Dunstan Stevenson. Hi, you have a police escort, so why am I here? After authoring a curious newspaper article claiming that black, black magic... Well, I'm trying to read the synopsis for the mission if you don't mind, asshole. After authoring a curious newspaper article claiming that black magic was the motive for the Ripper murders, Robert Donston Stevenson has gone missing. You should find and bring him in for questioning, especially since he admitted himself to London Hospital shortly before the murder started, but he was able to come and go as he pleased. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Stay close to the carriage. Alright, very well. There you go. So we have to go slow. We have to go slow. 
Not attract any attention. Shit! Yeah, they throw douchey stuff like that at you. Don't go too fast. All these people are looking for the guy in my carriage right now. Here now. Okay. I just have to go through the checkpoints until I get to Scotland Yard. I can't! If I hurry, they'll think something's up! I can't afford that right now. If I was Jacob, I probably wouldn't give a shit, but... I have to stay undetected. It's so sad. I feel bad for them. The only other one I did of this, the guy was actually a douche. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, you know, you no, 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 no. We're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go around. If the game will let me, hopefully. Hopefully it'll let me go around. Yeah, the guy, like... I'm not hijacking the carriage. Get out of here. That's not what I'm doing. Update, waypoint! Okay, I can, I can squeeze through here. Okay, I forget exactly what it was, but he like, he had like four wives, all of which he poisoned or something like that. So he was like already a serial killer, that's why he was a suspect. And I had to get into Scotland Yard safely. Yeah, I didn't care too much about his safety. This guy just kind of wrote an article and now everybody wants him dead. It's creepy. And you know, it's, it's really a shame now that we- Whoa! You almost killed that woman! Now that we have the technological means for, like, DNA and all that stuff- Whoa, 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 okay. Jesus. I'll just slowly meander my way over here. Now that we have the technological and forensic means to recover enough DNA to figure out who Jack the Ripper actually was, the bodies are so far gone there's no DNA left. So, that's the other scary thing. I don't- I- I'm gonna say it right now, I don't think we're ever gonna find out who he really was. Ever. Unless there's some other major forensic breakthrough in the next couple decades, whatever. He's- he's- I mean, he's already dead, but still. It's, uh, it's a long shot we're ever gonna find out who he is. And that's the most terrifying thing of all. All right. And I are grateful for your assistance. Of course, no problem, Inspector Freddy. I'm innocent. It's not me, I swear. Thank you, miss. Don't worry about it. Just be a little careful what you publicly declare to people in the future, yeah? Ooh, that's pretty. Insidious pistol. That sounds creepy. Okay. I like those. Those are very unique. Okay. I do- I like the brothel attacks, though. Those are fun. Just going through, liberating all the women inside, and just freaking the shit out of everybody in there. I love it. But okay, that glove. Yard glove. I wanna look at it. As in Scotland Yard, not yard work. Ideal for the pruning of criminals. <laughs> That's funny. Sure, it's blue and it's beautiful. I'll put that on. Holy! Okay, so hold on. Six, twelve, eighteen. I have enough to fully upgrade her. Okay. So there's this one. You gain health by performing full brutal takedowns for the next fight club. That could be useful. When you use a spike on an enemy, you have a better chance of looting it on that enemy. I had pretty good chances of doing that anyway. So this will help tremendously. And a calm enemy will become anxious if he sees a frightened enemy. That also helps tremendously. Okay, there we go. I'm fully upgraded! Level 11. Okay. I didn't know level 11 was possible, but okay, there we go. <laughs> you learn something new every day. How's my progression? 81%, okay. Alrighty, so we did a slow carriage escape. What should we do now? Let's do, we could do the other fight club. Cock Lane, my god. Jack's Lieutenants. I've done a couple of these. I only have one of these left, and I haven't done one on camera yet. We just did a slow carriage escape, so we won't do that. So we're gonna fast travel to St. Paul's. And then we're gonna do the one last... It's a kidnapping. It's basically a kidnapping. I'm pretty sure? There's only two of them in the game. I don't exactly remember what this is, but it... I think it's a bounty hunt. 
Uh, basically. Look at my gauntlet. It sticks out like a sore thumb. But I love it. It's beautiful. The blue of Scotland Yard. Like, the, the bobbies wear the bright blue. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, apply some chapstick here. And plug in my phone so it doesn't die. You guys, it's... September... September 18th today. Five Nights at Freddy's sister location comes out October 7th. So that's... Let me check my calendar real quick. It's one, two... It's almost three weeks away. We're less than a month away from a new Five Nights at Freddy's game. Shut up. This is the first Five Nights at Freddy's game that I have not been looking forward to playing. And it's not because I think it's going to be bad. And quite the contrary. I think it's going to be fan-fucking-tastic. But I'm scared to death! Just everything I know about it. Ballora, Baby... Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy, which is basically an unmangled version of Mangle? That's... Mm, the little baby things? What are they called? I don't remember what they're called. But, uh... Yeah. And it's like an underground factory facility. Where the purple guy used to work. I'm excited to see the new game, but at the same time, I know I'm not gonna survive. <laughs> and the fact that Ballora, the ballerina animatronic, every time I've seen her, whoa. I have a lot of lieutenants to take care of in here. Four. Moses Penning, Bertie Lizre, Remy Boating, and Simon Swins. Simon says, you stupid idiot. Every time we've seen Ballora, screenshots, trailer, whatever, her eyes have always been closed. What happens when she opens them? That makes me so nervous. It's the only one I've been not looking forward to playing myself for like the best reason possible. I just think about myself playing that game and I poop myself. But okay, I found all four of them. After that little rant, let's go ahead and get back to the actual game we're playing and murder him. Oh, please let me frighten the shit out of you. Well, I can't, but I mean, frighten the shit out of other people via brutal takedown. Get over there, Evie. Evie! Behave! No, over there. Thank you. I can't jump on it from here. Well, move then! If I smoke you, will you move? Well, there you go, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Bam! Hey, I got full zinc. Nobody's going to fight me! Oops. I can't do that from a railing, apparently. Back up we go! Looks like this target is invisible. Oh, he's underground! What? That sucks. Okay, no, 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 no. Well, I guess this is better anyway. Over here. I wanna aim for the big guy. Actually, no. I don't wanna f I don't wanna do that because then I'll cause my target to run away and I risk losing this. But okay, what to do, what to do. Should I do a brutal takedown? You know what, no. I'll just knock him out and get down immediately. There. Now it looks like my other two targets, one's underground, the other one's across the way. Back up, back up. And also, I don't know if you guys saw my Facebook post from a while back. But, uh, Outlast 2 is not coming out this fall anymore. It's coming out early next year. Early 2017. They delayed it a little bit. As well as The Last Guardian. I was gonna play The Last Guardian for you guys because I fucking love Shadow of the Colossus. I liked Ico too, but Shadow of the Colossus was a masterpiece in every sense of the word. And I love it to death. So, uh, Last Guardian's finally coming out, but instead of coming out in October, I think, is when it was supposed to come out, it's coming out in December. So it's been delayed two months. So... You're in a bad place. 
I'm gonna smoke him so he moves. Shit! I'm gonna smoke him so he moves, and hopefully he moves my way. If he moves further underneath the staircase, we're gonna have a problem here. Nope! Perfect! Bow! Eevee wins! And the last one's underground. How do I get down there again? Here's the thing. I'm dreading, for like the best reason possible, I'm dreading playing Sister Location. It looks terrifying and it's not gonna be fun. Outlast 2? I am so excited for that game. I wanna play the shit out of that. Now granted, maybe it's because I think it can't get any worse than uh, the Whistleblower DLC. That's easily the most traumatizing experience I've ever had in any horror game ever. That was just fucked up. But, uh, I don't know. I am so excited. Can you drop down to the bar? There you go. Good girl, Evie. There's the stairs! Over there! Okay. What other horror games are coming out? I was hoping for a sequel to Evil Within in E3, but that was nowhere to be seen. Uh, I was also hoping for an announcement of Dead Space 4. That was also nowhere to be seen. I can do this. We Sure, got Okay. Here we go. He's over there. There is a big nanny. Shut up. Okay, he's on a carriage. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw another smoke bomb. I'm gonna freak the horses away. It. Now he can't see me. And apparently that didn't count. Come here, you! Smash! Fear me! That's not exactly what I had in mind. Get out of here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I got him. Now I can leave. Oh shit! You, sir. I will telepathically murder you and your invisible counterpart. This is a big area I need to escape. No matter, just keep running. And I made it! Out. There we go. I did it. Okay. Frightened Simon swings his bodyguards. Three of three. I didn't even know he had bodyguards. But I did it without even trying. Yay! <laughs> I, I do like those. I love those. Okay. And it's funny how the Jack's Lieutenant thing is a top hat like he wears. Also like Jacob wears, so it's also very unsettling. But okay. Um, I have no idea how long that took me, or when I even started this episode. I started it at... It's about time I pause it, but I've only done the one thing! That can't be right. That did not take me a half an hour. Oh, we did the slow carriage escape, too. Okay, but, uh, you know what? No, what we're gonna do... We're gonna do one more thing. I think, since it's closest to us... We'll go ahead and knock out the last Fight Club. Yeah? Let's go ahead and do that. What other horror games are coming out? Or what other games in general am I coming out that, I'm, that are uh, that are coming out that I'm going to play for you guys? Uh, well, those of you who've been with me since 2013 at least would know that I did a 20-part series of Watch Dogs shenanigans, which was really fun. But I didn't do a series, I didn't do a playthrough of the campaign. So, post it down in the comments. Do you want me to do a campaign playthrough of Watch Dogs 2? Because I am going to get it on the PS4 this time. And, uh, I want to do shenanigans series. I'm definitely going to do shenanigans because it seems like there's a lot of stuff to do in the open world of San Fran. Oh god. And, uh, but let me know. Do you guys want to see a playthrough of the story this time? Because I feel like it's going to be even more interesting than Watch Dogs campaign. And I really liked Watch Dogs campaign. I'm going to say that right now. It was, pardon me, Freddy. <laughs> it was a little... It wasn't as exciting as uh, most other game campaigns, 
But I still enjoyed it. It was like the criminal underworld and how hackers, you know, interact with the criminal underworld. I loved that. But I feel like Watch Dogs 2's campaign is going to be even better. So post down in the comments and let me know. Do you want to see a campaign playthrough and a shenanigans series? Or would you prefer just shenanigans? Let me know. Anyway, hi, Freddy. My constables and I are grateful for your assistance. I know, right? I'm great. I also didn't visit a general store like I said I would, but whatever. Oh, this place is creepy! Okay. Fight me! Hey! Whoa! That's two of them. I can't frighten him because he's got spikes. Okay then, thank you. <laughs> is there a big guy? Oh shit, yeah there is. Oh, hold on. Get rid of you. That's three more. <laughs> Ten left. Oh shit! Get the big guy! <laughs> Anybody else? Whoop! Well, that hurt. Oh, there we go! I just frightened a bunch of people! I think that was six! Hell yeah! Whoa! Excuse me, sir. Oh, I can't frighten any of you. Well, that sucks. Hit the dirt! Ooh, double kill on a heavy! Yeah! Make a clean break! That was a snap! Oh, I'm not done yet. Shit. Okay. I have to kill the leader now. I remember. Okay, hold on. Fight to the death. Come on then, lass. That's where the real money is. Who's with me? Yeah, you could use a bit of variation in the dialogue from your friend that I've already beat the shit out of. Hello. Yeah, take out the big guy with a double kill. Screw you. Oh, now you want to fight? You're nothing! NOTHING! Fear the skinny woman! The skinny, older woman. <laughs> taking another dangerous criminal off the streets, Miss Fry. Of course, that's my duty to serve the bobbies of London. Okay. I did it! And that's all I'm gonna do for this episode, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm over time. So... I wonder why I haven't gotten that achievement yet. Maybe there's somebody I'm missing in the main game. Let me refill all my stuff. And end the episode right here. So, I hope you guys are enjoying my Syndicate Shenanigans series. Like and favorite if you are. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we've got... Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. We might be able to knock out all the extra missions in one more episode. Two at the most. So we're close to 100%ing this thing. I'll see you guys in my next video.